All right, we're back after a short snack break and uh, maybe a refreshment or two. We got the second race of the night. Flameforged versus Dango B Starfish. Say hi, everyone. Hello. Hey, everybody. How are we Hello. feeling about the race tonight? Not the best. I had really bad, <laughs> really bad attempts yesterday, so I'm not excited. I'm feeling all right. Um, definitely have some more time to do a little practice for the last few days, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I was gonna say you've been spending a lot of uh, a lot of time kind of routing, testing stuff, right? Have you have right. you done? All yeah, that? I haven't been like running this category, but I've been playing a lot of Tui. Yeah, and I mean, getting your fingers warm with the Tui movement is like super important kind of thing. So, hopefully, it all counts. So hopefully this is an exciting race. All right, with that, are you both ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let me, where did my Discord window go? Oh, here it is. Okay, I'll count you down and then we'll get her started. So start it up in three, two, one, go. And good luck to you both. Good luck. Gaming! All right, they are gaming. I accidentally started it zero seconds once again instead of 3.77 but that's okay I'm sure you guys will forgive me in chat ooh Dango not with a good start missing the Klungo cutscene skip so that's gonna be plus 14 seconds on his end time for sure hopefully there'll be a uh, some way ooh forgets to cancel text too restart it timer is wrong no, no, no. It's okay. I could always just start it at a point. I can't save the timer though, because it's like, it starts at zero because it's a BK timer that I use. So, let me go ahead and turn this down. It's probably really loud, uh, considering the volume. Right, we've got Red Potion from Flameforge. Nice, easy start to the race. So, bless. I mean, I I, mean, I really hate seeing red potion anyway, but I would rather see a red potion than a blue potion for sure. Alright, double red potion. So, we got an even playing field here. Just uh, leads to some more, uh, I guess, uh, suspense leading up to Klungo 2 if the race gets really close. Copying the timer layout and changing the one setting. Well, see, I'm not opening splits. That's the, the thing. It is a timer layout, but the time stays on the splits, not on the layout. And the thing is, is I keep forgetting to change the one setting. <laughs> Until the race starts. It's always like, and go! Ah, shit, I forgot. <laughs> but like I said, we've done so much BK in the last, like, year that uh, I'm just not used to uh, doing it. Blue line on the left? I don't see a blue line on the left. Oh, on the left, oh, you can barely see a blue line from Flameforge layout. No, I can't see it because I don't look at OBS when I cast the race. I look at the VLC windows. It's okay. As we need some blue in his life. Thank you for submitting your issue to Chalon Jasmine. I uh, settled it accordingly earlier. <laughs> that was uh, that was kind of funny last night. I was busy, so I didn't have audio, so I wasn't for some of it, and so I wasn't sure what uh, 
what was going on, but I saw the clips this morning. <laughs> I think both Snoopy and Footy linked what was going on. Ooh, Flameforge talking. Talking to Tizzers. That's one I like Bottles kids' names, right? There. Does that make you happy, Asmi? Yeah, see, my perfect schedule doesn't really work for Europe. Just because I work, like, morning to afternoon. Just like that, I've cured Asmi's blues. <laughs> Ooh, I thought that was gonna work from Flameforge. Pretty sick GGM early. Yeah. That it was, yep, yeah, please clap. The singular ha. Not even H A H. Just ha. I mean, it just sounds like you need to have a, be a better sleep schedule, Foss. Ooh, Dango's doing the move to the left strat. Whatever works. Hello, Sionk. I used to have a pretty bad sleep schedule too, but it's definitely improved. It could be better, but... It's good enough for me. As long as I get, like, between, like, seven to seven and a half hours of sleep. Or I guess six, six to seven and a half. That's, like, my, like, my, uh, zone of, like, good sleepiness, I guess. Any more than that, and I just feel so shit the next day. I wake up, and I don't know what year it is, and then I have a headache, and this and that. It's kind of rough. Shout out to Banjo Runner. Shout out to Flameforge for being distracted during his race. <laughs> for real though, shout out to Flameforge for uh, being enthused about hosting some races for this tournament. It's always good having some other people in your life who uh, have different schedules than you do. And uh, don't mind speaking on the mic. Even in dateless memory. Speaking of magic juice, time for a little sip of my juice-like water. How did that warp work? Is Flame asking, like, you know, how do the warp pads work? Like, what magic is at work to make the warp pads work? Because, I mean, we know how the silos work. Like, Jam Jars has built, like... A, uh, a network of interconnected tunnels that go all over Isle of Hags, right? But the warp pads are like some unexplained magic. Unless, you know, it, it's explained in like the instruction manual or something like that. <laughs> nice bonk. I don't think we saw any bonks last race. They were all uh, they were all being saved for this one. Nice camera angle from Dango. God, I wish that were me. 
TM. If you want the alt code, it's 0153 on your number pad. I type it so much, it's just... It's just automatic at this point. Alright, no bonks from Dango, so he's catching up. I used to have like a spreadsheet of like a bunch of different alt codes when I was in high school, but I don't know what happened to it. I probably just deleted it. Yeah, that kind of stuff was like so cool back then. You showed up to school and were like, guess what I could do? I can type in special characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never had a MySpace. I wasn't very, uh, s online sociable, I guess, back then. It, it was all games. MSN Messenger, it was a different story, though. I had lots of, like, characters and stuff on, on that. But I never used MySpace. The only reason I got Facebook in the first place was when I graduated. I uh, it was like the only way I could think to like stay in contact with a bunch of uh, friends. So I got Facebook. Wow, that was heartbreaking. I think Flame Shot was right on, but I think it was because he was like slightly too far away and his egg just cracked. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that. I mean, I don't even know if MSN Messenger even exists anymore. But, oh god, it was so great. And when you got to, like, nudge your friend and it shook their screen and they couldn't do anything about it, except listen to the jingle and see the vibration. Oh man. You'd update your status to some jab at someone you know can see that message. I believe they call it subtweeting nowadays. <laughs> yeah, Dango's slowly catching up. I I know that Flame is uh. He was worried going into this match. He didn't know uh, Dango's true potential. Yeah, I only had MSN. That was it. I think I got MSN when I was like in grade 6 or 7 or something. Before that, my parents wouldn't let me have uh, any sort of online account. Because there could be scary people out there. But now it's like... You know... I feel like right now is the peak of like, Hey kid, you want some candy? <laughs> On the internet. Like, people talk to strangers all the time and it doesn't matter. Except when it does matter. I mean, obviously, there's safety, right? You don't want to accidentally dox yourself as well. Especially now that there's, like, super online celebrities, right? AOL 
messenger. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I just spent a lot of time talking on like forums and stuff. Lots of time on game facts in like late elementary, early high school to mid high school. Stuff like Gaia Online. Good stuff. <laughs> I don't I don't even remember what my account was. Quick time games, yeah, xgenstudios.com. When Super Motherlord came out, I bought that on Steam. That was a great game. I mean the original one was better, but I I said that I said that flame, I said that. <laughs> Defend your castle, fishy. Those are all good. Elastomania, yeah. That was a good game. Uh, I played a lot of a game called Lero Extreme, which was like Worms Armageddon, except like real time, not turn based. That was a fun game. That was a that was a go-to at a at LAN parties. <laughs> Me and my friends in high school did LAN parties. God, what's even happening in this race? I don't know. I, when I said the word LAN parties, it just reminded me of like, yeah, Warcraft 3, Starcraft, uh, fuck, I can't even think of the old ones. CS Source. All the little games you played like in high school kind of thing. Ooh, Flame Landed. Age of Empires. I never played that. But I knew people that did. Command and Conquer. Oh, Dango lands! That's rough. I mean, it's not super rough, but it's pretty rough. Yeah. Well, computer labs were the best for landing because they were all connected together anyway. So you just grab a bunch of people at lunch or during class even and just like fucking start playing. Ooh, Dango gets a bonk. I, bl I think that's one to one. I thought I saw Dango bonk on Grip Grab, but I think I might have been seeing that wrong. Pulling double, double duty on comms. Hell yeah. Alright, pretty sussy flies from Flame. Let's see if Dango's fl flies are any better. Yeah, I remember when StarCraft came out and I was just like, oh man, I want to play this so bad. But I was like, too young to be good at StarCraft, right? But I got really into playing custom maps, and even like uh, the campaign was really fun back then. Like, if, if there was one game I had to say that defined my childhood, it would be StarCraft and StarCraft Brood War. I don't play it for shit anymore because my hands can't like they used to, but... And I've just lost all of map awareness, but... I still watch it all the time. Oh, there's another one. I didn't notice the second one. And yeah, Footy, you're right. 
I've I've only had them come in once, but the last not the last time, but the next to last time it happened, it was two back to back. All right, first try code versus second try code. Oh, Dango misses the boulder though. It was so close though. You beat your grandma? <laughs> ah, gotcha. How do you beat someone in a one-player game, though? Oh, you- oh, the original Mario, like the pipe game. That's- yeah. Yeah, that's right, okay. Not Mario Bros, like the Mario. Yeah, I gotcha. I, I had to grind my brain a little bit. Yeah, the original for NES. Well, that would have been Mario Bros. Yeah, I played Ocarina of Time back when I was like, I don't remember how old it was. Oh, it must have been grade two or three. Or uh, four, probably. Yeah, it must have been at least ten. And I never beat it till I was like almost 14 or something. Just because, like, I couldn't beat the Water Temple. <laughs> Alright, nice 88 from Dango. I didn't see what Flame's puzzle was, but it looked pretty good too, I think. The reason why it took me so many years to beat Ocarina of Time was because I would play the game up to the Water Temple. But I didn't know that there was a Song of Time block behind the Longshot chest, so I didn't know that was where y you go, right? And so there's that key there, and so I was just missing that key. So I would play up to Water, and then I would just get lost and I wouldn't know where to go. And then I would reset the file and I would go back and play up to the water temple again, thinking, oh, maybe I soft locked it or I did something that caused it to be unbeatable. And I did that for just years. And I, I played other games, I played it on and off, right? I did get stuck in Deku Tree for like the first month of the game. But to be fair, I was like 10. And I didn't know how to break the web in the tree. Because every time I jumped, I wasn't like mid-center, right? Like I wasn't exactly in the center. So... I thought I was... I thought I was doing something wrong. But no, I didn't die to King Dodongo. That is, that is something I did not do. <laughs> Asmi could not. It's pretty clear what to do against Aghanim. <laughs> it's pretty clear, and yet. Almost sink. Dango's almost caught up. Dango's currently sitting at uh, plus 10.7, and Flameforged is at plus 28.4. So, if we go by best possible times, Dango's best possible time is currently a 44.43, and Flame's best possible time is a 42.58, which is just 
straight up wrong. It's gotta be. <laughs> yeah. Like, being plus 28.4, there's no way that the best possible time is 42.58. He's got something wrong with his splits. So, he's, he's, he's clearly messed something up to make it so we won't know where he's at. <laughs> but if we look at his PB, and we look at his plus 28 seconds, we can make an assumption. <laughs> Maybe he's a god gamer. Yeah, flame world record potential with this run. Well, not with this run, but second place. Well, not even second place. Fourth place. As long as he has a perfect run, he can bot me. A late game god, but loses a lot in early. That's a blessing, to be honest. Because you can just reset out of a bad late game. Or a bad early game. But if you're having a bad late game, it's like way too late. You've already wasted so much time, you may as well keep going, right? Oh, Dango! Dango YOLO'd that a little too hard, I think. No! Okay. Oh, come on, Dango, you gotta be a little higher. There you go. I think Dango tried to cut that corner as... as, uh... tight as he could. Alright, come on. Up the ten peg. There we go. Or not up the peg, up the rope. Sorry. All right, we're getting awfully close again. I think it's only like three or four seconds different now. We still, like I said at the beginning of the race, they both got Red Potion Klungo 1, so we could be seeing a Klungo discrepancy that could lead to a, uh, a very tight ending. Seven and a half reasons why. Tell me why. See, Rag knows what's up. Yeah, there we go. Pastel's on board. Ooh. Dango saved a lot of time in that witchy world. Dango went from plus 10 seconds to minus 4, so he's on a pretty hot PB pace right now. Okay, after that witchy world, Flame's best possible time went from 42.58 to 44.36. <laughs> Come on, Dango. The game tells you that piece doesn't go there. You need to press it. Jackal! 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 It's a jackal! 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 Alright. <laughs> Decent puzzle by Sun- or by, uh... Sunder. By Flame. Pretty rough puzzle by Dango.
Dango is Flounder. Who's uh, Sebastian? Rag, are you just copying me? I was about to say Sebastian must be Oxalin, but then I was like, wait, Sebastian isn't French. <laughs> He's like Jamaican or something. Do we have any Jamaican banjo runners? I don't think so. Not that we know of. They'd be all like, Gahaman. As we. <clears throat> that's like that age old, like, speed running. Uh. Speed running argument. You know, people are like, oh, that guy has world record. I don't know. Has he raced? Have you seen everyone's time? It's like, bruh, please. Just, just don't. We have a bobsled team. Would they race against Boggy, though? Except he's not really bobsled racing. He's more just like... Broken wooden sled racing. It's some sort of magical, like, Christmas sled or something. Because we gotta talk about the physics of that sled race. Like, you're going uphill on a sled. There's something wrong with that. Kiss Egg for good luck. I don't know what movie that's from. I mean, you jump up the hill, right? Ooh, flame took damage. So, I mean, you're not gaining speed by sledding up a hill, right? <laughs> you're, you're sitting on top of a sled as a walrus who has no arms or legs, and yet you can still jump. It's like doing a kickflip on, on like, a, a skateboard, except the walrus body, like, kind of flops on it or something, I guess. I don't know. Alright, Flame's got to haul ass to get to the surface here. Okay, good. If he got tagged by the eel there, he was just done. Alright, Dango taking a little bit of damage too, but still makes it up. We're in the same room. That means it's close. And again, we do have Klungo still. And we have Hagwon. Very important. Oh, does the sled really go faster downhill if you're just moving forward? I actually didn't know that, but that's, I mean, it makes sense that it would work that way. <laughs> yeah. Is it the same as all movement? Really? I didn't know that movement down a hill was faster than on a straight line in Kazooie. I don't know if that works the same way in, uh, two either. I know nothing about, like, the stats. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, cool. The more you know with Professor Asmi. Hey, Snoopy. Yep, a very close race indeed. We got blue potion from Flame and green potion from Dango. So, potential for some time save. Not a lot of time save, but some time save. Oh, Dango's doing the uh, spray and pray strat. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that for like Kazooie Snoopy. I know people don't do that in. I know people do that in Tui, but that's just because you flap out of Talent Trot if you jump down hills. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I never thought about, like, movement speed. I just do what the Banjo people tell me to do. Alright, no last bonk here from Flameforged. Let's see what his fade out on Game Over is here. And we'll see exactly how far they are apart. It's gotta be, like, at least 10 seconds ish. That was like around 38 on going in. Alright, so it's about 8 seconds. So. Oh, Dango's got the cheater menu. It gets closer. <laughs> Flame has to have a really good Hag 1. And, uh, well, so does Dango. If they make the same mistakes, then Flameforge still wins. Dango's on a pretty sweet PB pace, too. Currently minus 13.3. And, I mean, Flame has gotten a lot of, uh... Flame's gotten a lot of gold splits. But sitting at a plus 31.8. So, best possible time for Flameforged is 44.36. Best possible time for Dango is 44.54. Spam bald to distract Flameforged. <laughs> I mean, I really want the race to be close, but I really don't want to have to, like, you know, frame count again. I do gotta mention that uh, Dango's stream is, like, one and a half seconds ahead of Flame's stream. Looking at their timers, they're not exactly synced. Maybe not one and a half, it looks like exactly one, so. No Bree, no frame count. I just have to hope that one of them at least finishes a second apart. Let me go ahead and sync up their streams here going into uh, Hag 1. Just so we're like all even. Okay. Timers are exactly synced. Yeah, I'm I'm doing the resync now. I mean in the end it's gonna be when they split. Unless one of them splits wrong, but I hope they don't split wrong. Is this an important match? I don't know. There's still a few races left to go in Group B, so I think it's too early to tell. 
But Flame is currently sitting at 1-1. One and one. And so, uh, this is an important match for Flame, for sure. And uh, let's have a look at the challenge, actually. Where's Dango? Dango is also at 1-1. One and one. So, both of these guys are sitting at 1 win, 1 loss in their group. So, it, it kind of is an important match. Alright, both opting for Fire Egg Strat. I know that Dango has had historically Monka looking hag once so far in the tournament. <laughs> that is very, very far away there. Alright, going into the mortar phase. If someone's using fire eggs, god, I just want them to stay up on the drill. Just stay on the drill and just shoot her in the face. It's not scary, you only take two damage. Because as long as you shoot her, uh, like with the fire eggs as fast as you can, well, no, you take one damage per phase. Because when you're up on the drill, you one cycle her with fire eggs. That's why being up on the drill with fire eggs is good. Oh fuck! Flame fell off the drill. You should learn that. That's the old strat. What you should learn is grenade quick shot. <laughs> I am known to curse. I'm known to do it a lot. But I got caught off guard. I didn't expect to see flame. Oh my god, they're almost synced. It's like two or three seconds. Who's ahead? It's definitely flame. Flame is definitely ahead right now, but not by much. Yeah, not if you don't have experience C aiming. I mean, if you plan on staying on red eggs for a while, you definitely should be doing it, 100%. Are they not red? Oh, nice. Flame got the uh, clockwork to land right in the uh, exhaust port. That's kind of a hard shot. Blue eggs, red eggs, green eggs, white eggs. Polka dot eggs. <laughs> I would say Goobers. God, this is so close. This is going to come down to the last phase. Or the last section of phases. The moment someone gets hit by, like, a bolt, or they miss in a really terrible way, it's just... Oh, Flame! Dango is still on PB pace, yes. That was a not unnecessarily far away shot from uh, Dango. Dango's had a pretty good hag one so far for his level. So this this is definitely gonna PB as long as he doesn't like shit the bend right here, <laughs> which there is always a possibility of happening. 
but PBing versus winning the race. Ooh. Flame has to move. Oh, Dango had to move too. Well, he didn't have to move. Come on, Dango. Yeah, I, th I think Flame is winning the race for sure. I don't think that, uh... I don't think he's in too much danger of losing, unless he keeps taking damage like this. Oh, <laughs> Dango! Oh, God. Oh, the Ugger! Move! No! Dango died to the Ugger! Oh, God! All right, meanwhile, time's coming up on flame. Oh, Dango, I'm so sorry. Yeah. All right, well. time. All right, GG's. Oh, flame, Jesus Christ. Flame, you won. <laughs> oh, God, I did? <laughs> yeah, you were going to win hey. anyways, but we were cheering on Dango because he hit such a good PB going, and then just the, the ugger the ugger killed him. Wait, wait. It, oh. Yeah. Don't blame that. Oh, on so, the wait, so we were, so we were so fight. close. So if he was on Ugger phase, Jesus Christ! At at at, at the cutscene after the battery phases, you guys were like maybe four or five seconds apart at max. Wow. Yeah, it was very close. It was very close, but. <sighs> well, GG's flame. GG's. Yeah. Gee, wow. Yeah, it was. It was really, really, really close. And well, it was a little bit further, but then. Dango has the shortened boss menu, and so mm -hmm. we were like, oh my god, now it's really close! And then both of you guys had great hag ones, up to, up to 30 health. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was a little fine, let's come on! Yeah, I mean, yours was still pretty good, I mean, aiming, you know, after that was a little iffy, but yeah, Dango stepped in some glue. <laughs> Like, was was going to R aiming just panic mode Dango setting in, or... Like, what was Pretty going Pretty much, on? yeah. Yeah. I wasn't, I, like, wasn't getting... I think I tried twice to just, like, fire using the C buttons, and, like, after the second time, I'm like, okay, let's try R. Yeah. Yeah, just... Oh, God, my heart just started beating so hard right in those last seconds. Because I, I was like, are you going to kill the Ugger? Because your eggs were so close. But then I think it was just like, try to shoot Grunny instead. And then the Ugger just stayed there. And it was like, I was like, oh, I was so close to dying. Because I think he hit it twice. I'm not sure. Yeah. That well, Ugger almost ruined my life at the end there as well. <laughs> to be fair, like the, the first one that got thrown out, I killed it probably just before it was about to hit me. Hmm. Yeah, you guys had, I think Flame was ahead for, like, the whole race, but, uh, just because Dango got the, failed the Klungo cutscene skip, but it was still really close up until, I think the, the spot where it became really close was after Prison Code, because Flame, you got second try, right? Mm -hmm. No, uh, you got, uh, yeah, you got second try and Dango got first try, and so... After that, it was like maybe four or five seconds. I really failed the uh, rope in Witchy World. Yeah. Uh, so, what's with your sum of best in Witchy World? Like, do you have? A... I don't know. No, my I think my splits are broken right now. I, I it's just they obviously Witchy are, World but split. I don't know why. It, look at your best segment for Witchy World right now in your splits, because it's your Witchy World split. 408.37. That's your gold? Which, yeah, which doesn't seem off. Like, does anything seem off there? Because before Witchy World, your best possible time, or before the Witchy World puzzle or whatever it was, your best possible time was showing 42.58. And then after Witchy World, after you split on your DW oh. setup, then it was like 44, like. 20 something and we were like i see what's going on uh my leave ggm gold is 223 which is wait how is my segment 513 for that but that's my p something's wrong with the splits i'm not gonna bother fixing it i'd just rather reset yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it's something in there i don't know it must have been a weird split or maybe you changed splits somewhere down the line 
that probably could have yeah. been it because I think I ended up deleting a detonator split. Yeah. Yeah, I instead of like getting rid of all your splits, just like delete your sum of best on uh, those splits and it should become your segment time. And then that should clean it up a little bit. I cleaned that up and it put me at 4338, so that's about what I said. Yeah, uh, I, the I think that's the the reasonable. Race. Yeah. <gasps> All right, well, excellent race from y'all. I, I have a feeling you're you're due for a very large PB, Dango. <laughs> watching, watching yeah, back. I mean, my stomach. One nice thing about that run is that my stomach vest is now a forty-three thirty. Yeah, what was it before? Higher forty-three. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot of gold splits that run, didn't you? Did. Yeah. So. Oh well. Oh well. Still got another two, one race, one race left in the Just group. I think. One against Lord Fluffy. Okay. <sighs> okay. And um, yeah, Flame, your last race is against. Um, Stormed, right? Yep. Yeah. And I'll try and get him scheduled ASAP. Sweet. Sweet. All right. GG's, everyone. That was the last race for today. I guess the next race is tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern. Falcon is racing Dingo, and that's hosted by Snoopy. So, um, yeah, tune in for that. All right, I'm out of here. Time to go make some spaghetti. Woohoo! Bye. I didn't eat, I didn't get to eat my other second as much as I thought it was. Bye.